from 7 TQ, I got a barrage, you didn't say hello. Yeah, I'm going to get you out of the way. Yeah, left lane, yes, you are correct, my uh, brand new little one. I'm back out here and get back on the condo. Oh, Mad Dog 302 to Wayne, goddamn. Yeah, right, back. Hey, some cool sound. Mother, way right back. Call me 302, my New Mexico, I'll see you. Yeah, 302, I'll be on New Mexico. Motor Mouth Mall, we're going to smell you already. Check it out, see you again. I got that Motor Mouth Mall Mobile. I got that Motor Mouth Mall Mobile up here, Southwest Washington. KMA 178, Mad Dog waving. Hey there, 178 Mad Dog. I hear you up there, I do. Radio station, motor mouth ball, working this small bill. Trying to ease up in there and get in where I can fit in there, break a break. Hey, Bob, we'll be able to get it back. Hey, motor mouth, I think you're doing that mobile right here, right now, man. Come <laughs> on, motor mouth ball with that bad mobile, 302 with the wave got down. Yeah, 302. Well, I'll tell you what, I had a good morning of skip, man. We were talking up on the a ball there, having a good time, and uh, then I, well, I thought, you know, I, I had to rush out here so fast to go get a hold of somebody to skip that I forgot my morning cup of coffee. So I'm going to mobile on over here to uh, Starbucks and get me a big old morning cup of coffee. A hey, 302 Motor Mouth Mall, looking around your neck of the woods right there, right now. Let's go. Yeah, right back. Right back. Right back. The motor stay while you get to go and get the coffee. Motor mouth mall. Tell the better how we said motor day way, better way. Motor mouth. In the mobile, 302 working at the Antron 99 with this 200 Cobra. Get down right there, motor mouth. All yeah, right, you're there. Well, that Antron 99 is working good for you. That N-Fed dipole is doing the job there, 302. You tell the sweet thing, motor mouth mall waving the four friendly fingers in the sun. Big old happy Mother's Day around your neck in the woods, too. Motor mouth mall working the mobile right here, and I walked on through. Yeah, right, right back. You walk it, dude. You got that mobile walking and talking all over my neighborhood, no doubt about it. Motor mouth mall. Have a super fine day, 302. I'll put it on you later. I'll see you. 410. Let me uh, unlock and uh, lock this gate behind me here. I got to go down the road. Oh, man. Give me some coffee. Motor mile log chargers back over there smoking on 28 again. Alright, we're back mobile again. Motor Mouth Mall working this thing right here, right now. Old Frank and Jeep got down. Frank and Jeep, Grandpa, got you. Hey there, Grandpa Jones. Yeah, I caught you talking out with log truckers that you sound good, good, good. He was, uh, he was really happy with how you sounded out there, Brady. Yeah, Roger. I listened to you talking to him on the bowl, but he's on 28 now. <laughs> he's back. <laughs> yeah, I heard the whole conversation, Motor Mouth. Hey, that's good publicity for you. God bless you. Well, that's a appreciative conversation, appreciative publicity. Ain't no doubt about that. Hey, Grandpa Jones, you got that ball down. It sounds 10-8 and straight. That's for Doug on shore. I turned the audio up here just a little bit more, not much. I got, uh, I had some background noise up in here yesterday. I thought, eh, it might have been a little bit more than I wanted. So I turned it down just a skosh. And uh, now it should sound pretty good, I think. Oh, it sounds real good. 
It sounded real good. Just a little buzz in the background, a little whoo sound, but the, you're over, overwhelming it, and they'll never hear it out there. <laughs> Roger, yeah. I'm not going to worry too much about that little whining sound in the background. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how to get rid of it just yet, so it's, uh, I'm just going to pretend it's not there. <laughs> and I had fun on the bowl, man. It was good to hear Prime Minister out there. I got a call from Lazy Dog. I was at the house, and I was getting ready to leave the house, and he called up, and he said, hey, motor mouth. I go, what? And he goes, Skip is rolling on the bowl. You should hear it, man. Prime Minister's coming in there real good. And I thought, oh, wow, okay, well, I'll hop in my mobile and see what I can do. And I, I called for Prime a few times on my way out here to the ranch, and uh, he only heard me about one key before I got out of the mobile, and he goes, motor mouth. That mobile sounds like a base station. <laughs> And then I, uh, I got off the mobile and ran into the base and fired everything up and went out and turned the antenna around. And uh, next thing I knew, I was out there on the bowl and, and uh, having a whole lot of fun on there on uh, 27.025. So anyway, it was good to get some skip out there. That's for sure. Uh, Roger, I caught that whole conversation. I heard exactly what you said and what he said. <laughs> yeah, I heard the prime minister. Boy, I'll tell you, motor mouth. He come in here so hard that the needle wouldn't go any further to the right. And I heard DBI out there, too. He was doing the same thing right along with the rest of you fellas out there. Wow, yeah. BBI had a good hammer going. I think he had a little bit better going down south towards uh, 300. Uh, I didn't quite hear BBI well enough to lock it down with him. And when I did try to get back to him, he was, like I said, he was talking to 300, and I couldn't really get up in there edgewise. So... I, uh, I I was bummed out about that because BBI sounded better uh, today than I've ever heard him ever. Period. He sounded really good. He said he was on his number three station, but I'll tell you what, he was uh, he sounded good. Oh yeah, he did. Yeah, I just was over on 28 before I come over here, and uh, Log Trucker was talking to somebody. I couldn't tell who he was talking to. But he was coming in just, shoot, way over in the red zone. Now, I don't know if he's still on 28 or not, but you might check if you want to. Now, Roger, I'll stay here for a little bit. I think I haven't fired down on 17 for a while. I'll just, uh, I'll run here as long as it takes me to go into town and go grab me some coffee. I'm going to go over to Starbucks and get a cup of, uh, get a cup of Joe. I, you know, I bypassed Starbucks this morning because the skip was rolling. I thought, man... I don't know how long it's going to stay going, but uh, I figured I'd get over there and grab me some coffee later. So that's what I'm going to do. And, and then I'll get back on 28, uh, maybe a little bit later. But I got the gate, gate set up here on 17. And, uh, yeah, I heard 302 out there in Arizona rolling through here. And uh, you and uh, who knows what Mother Nature's going to blow up in here. Grandpa Jones, motor mouth mall working this small bill. Stepping right here, right now. Yeah, Roger that motor mouth. Well, the old night owl up there in the corner heard me out there. I forget his numbers, but he come in there and said hello. And who else did I talk to? I a whole bunch of guys in the northwest corner. I couldn't get back to Equalizer. Somebody out there. And then there's that kind of guy that calls himself a uh, motor mouth. He's up there. I don't, I don't know who, you know. I don't try to talk to him much. But anyway, yeah, yeah. I was getting out pretty good over there for a while. Roger. I haven't yet heard the motor mouth up there from the northwest corner, I don't think. Uh, that's funny, uh, motor mouth. Anyway, let me turn this audio mic game down here all the way to the bottom here, right there. See if that makes any difference at all. Anyway, yeah, I haven't heard him out here. Roger that. Well, you're right on the money right there. Roger, I'm right on the money. All right, good deal. Now we got the windows opened up. I'm going 65 miles an hour, and uh, not too shabby for white man high fidelity audio the break. Oh, that's for sure. I can't even hear the wind. You're overpowering the wind so that I can't even hear the motor mouth. Right, sure. I'll, I'll hang the microphone out the window. You hear the wind. Oh, I heard it that time. Yeah, I, heard, I heard the wind at high five. <laughs> right, sure. All right, motor mouth. I'll get on the side. Maybe somebody else wants to get it in there. 
Okie dokie, Grandpa Jones sounds good. <laughs> and sounded good, too. Motor Mouth Mall, Mobile Steppin' right here, right now. Roger, Motor Mouth. Motor Mouth, can you hear me? Just out of curiosity, I know this is crazy, but I want to listen to this on the water gate. I'm going to put the microphone up to my neck instead of my mouth. I wonder what it picks up if I talk into my neck. You know what they say, hey, that guy out there is talking out of the side of his neck? Well, I'm talking out of my neck right now. Motor Mouth Mall was in this thing on the side of the neck. And then back down to regular right here, right now. I got down. Hey, Motor Mouth, somebody's in here trying to get back to you. Sound like jumping me. Stand by one. We'll see who that is. I'll listen. Who is that out there calling Motor Mouth? Hello, and you hear the old DX man up here in Northern Washington, Motor Mouth Mall? Somebody in the northwest corner. Baker man, is that you? No, the DX man. Mount Vernon, Washington, Motor Mouth Mall. Copy, copy. The DX man up in northern Washington's calling you, Motor Mouth. Oh, the DX man. Hello, DX man. I didn't get the 28 there, but I got you that time. Roger, Roger. I just didn't Guys, you I appreciate the buff down there, DX man. You sound real good. But Grandpa Jones is out here about oh three miles away from me. I'm uh, I'm heading down the road, heading to Starbucks to go get me some coffee. No, oh, you one more time, DX man, Motor Mouth Mall, working the mobile. Oh yeah, I got to hear uh, Prime Minister and Master Mitch and. You know, all 711 and uh, all the big stations up there on the northwest corner rolling up in here. It was pretty doggone cool. More about flies been out there for a little bit. Yeah, I'm still out here. Yeah, good morning, good morning. Good morning. The Motor Mouth Mall down there? Yes, it was. That was Motor Mouth Mall down here in Santa Maria. Motor Mouth Mall? West Side Station up here in the corner. I hear you up here and you're sounding good today. West Side Station, waving a hand your way. West Side Station. Well, I'll tell you what, good to hear you roll up in here. I should say roll down here around the central coast of California. You sound good in my mobile. West Side Station, Motor Mouth Mall. Hope all is well as well up there. 10 4. All is good, no doubt. Hey, I'm making it down to your mobile. Even your mobile sounds great up here. Motor Mouth Mall, West Side, the waving a hand your way. Four ten there, West Side Station. Well, I'll tell you what, it was a, it's a little bit of a work in progress, and I think I've got it kind of sort of under control at the moment. But it's been a long time trying to get this mobile working the way I wanted it, and and to have some uh, facsimile of consistency up in here. So uh, I think it's working now. Hey, West Side Station, Motor Mouth Mall, we'll be all waving a big old happy uh, Mother's Day to the sweet thing up there. And, uh, yeah, good to hear you roll down here around Santa Maria, California. 10 for Motor Mouth Mall. Take care of numbers to you. And I want to shout out there to Hollow Point. Hollow Point, when you keyed up, you filled my radio. Hollow Point, West Side Station, waving a hand your way. And tell Hollow Point I did say hello. I'm up here in Washington. Uh, across the water from Seattle. Yes, 10-4, Channel 22 was the local station, and that was my favorite station I used to hang out on. Well, you got a heck of a memory on you there, Hollow Point. Hollow Point, no doubt about it. Right on. Well, hey, you're sounding good out there today. Yeah, I took a, uh, a good break from the radio there. 
I just picked it back up a couple years ago. Talking again. Last Washington, reading the mail. So I'm going to wave a hand your way and uh, let this channel do some rolling. Working this ground plane up here around the Puget Sound, the West Side Station just got down. Yeah. 10-4. Uh, yes. Oh, let me think about that for a day or two, man. I uh, I take the shit out of that, yeah, but I don't know if I want to let go of that one. There's three or four big stations coming in out there now, Motormouth. Roger. Thanks for them flowers there, Outlaw. Thanks for them flowers there, Outlaw. Yeah. Hey, uh, 378. 378, behave yourself down there. You're waking up the locals up here in the northwest corner. 378. Your log trucker in the northwest corner on the south side degrees said that. No one get out of the way. Hey, log trucker. Hey, log trucker. I know you got 378 all up in your receive there, but I'm going to see if I can't put this mobile up in there a time or two. Log trucker, radio station, Motormouth Mall, working the mobile right here, right now, Break. Copenhagen. Uh, I'm sorry about that. How long? Oh, no man talks in there. I can't hear the locals up here. We're on the beam pointing south. You guys are coming in 20, 30 dBs up here. All right, now, let me get out of the just got down. Sorry about that. I'll show my CB etiquette and jump on the back of the bus and listen to see what's going on out there in the world of sound. Outlaw. Take care. Enjoy the weekend. Happy Mother's Day. Your log trucker in the northwest corner. I'll see you. Hey, Log Trucker, tell Outlaw Motormouth Mall said hello from Miss Mobile. Hey, Log Trucker, if you got any kind of a sloppy copy, radio station Motormouth Mall Mobile right here, right now, Frank. Hey, Captain Phil Popper, oh no. Yeah, previously known as Captain Caffeine or Captain... Did he say Captain Pill Popper there, Frank? I don't wait with it. That's what he said, Barbara. That's what I thought I heard him say. Captain Pill Popper. That's funny. <laughs> hey, Captain Pill Popper, you're nationwide. <laughs> that is what he said. Captain Pill Popper. <laughs> Radio station Motor Mouth Mall working this mobile right here, right now. We hear that Motor Mouth Mall. Hey, Doug, good, good hearing from you there. Been a while. Been a while, 503. Uh, yeah, we ain't had a whole lot of Mother Nature out there, but uh, I think she was in hibernation with the bears, and bears are finally out of hibernation, so Mother Nature decided to show up in the northwest corner. Rascal, and uh, it's always a pleasure, a double measure, get to put the speaker's book upon you in a big old happy Mother's Day wave. 
I'm going to kind of ease on up out here and jump on the back of the bus because there's a lot of them on this channel up here, and I'm sure they want to say hello to Mellow Jello also. As you can see, it's kind of busy. I'm going to give anyone the wrong impression. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. I'm not going to be Log trucker in the northwest corner. I'll see you. A log trucker, you're talking to 503 Welfare Willie? A uh, log trucker, Motor Mouth Mall, wants to know if you're talking to 503 Welfare Willie. A hey, log trucker, radio station Motor Mouth Mall, your west coast, under modulated beast, working this mobile right here, parked after getting my Starbucks coffee. I got down. Breaker, breaker. Dang! Dang, easy, easy, easy. Behave yourself down there. Let me know when you're going to key that, out of that thing up. Blow me right out of my chair. 88, big old Mother's Day wave, and I'm out of the way. No get back on log trucker radio station Motor Mouth Mall, your west coast, Thunder Modulated Beast. Got down right there until 88 in the Mojave Desert. The Motor Mouth Mall is waving. I see you waving there, John. Motor Mouth Mall. I want to wave right back, see if I can get through the mess. Well, I'm in the mobile out here, so I'm doing the best I can to try to roll back up around your neck of the woods there. A uh, log trucker, Motor Mouth Mall in this mobile is in the mud duck camouflaged commode. What do you think to break? <laughs> Boy, that's, uh, that sounds like quite a, quite a contraption to be mobiling around in. <laughs> but that mobile's got a big hammer going with it. Poor Tim. Well, we do our best. We do the best we can with what little we got. With what little we got, ain't no doubt about that. Log trucker, motor, mouth, mall, working this mobile right here, right now. If you need a little bit more audio, I'll give you just a little bit more audio. Log trucker, motor, mouth, mall, stepping. Okay. All right, motor, mouth, mall. Oh, you don't need any more. You got it going on. That mobile uh, is doing its thing. Ain't no doubt about it. They're... Uh, don't miss a word. I, I thought first he was, if he had told me he was in the mobile, I, I, I would have sworn he was on the base. Trucker, you still sounded good, like you're controlling this bus I got down. And I'm mobile and back toward the base. I'm over here by Starbucks right now. I'm uh, I'm just getting out of the out of the uh, out of the city limits here, more or less, and heading across the freeway and jumping on over toward the base station in a little bit here. So I'm I'm mobile and. All right, sir, take care. 7 3 is Log Trucker Radio Station, Motor Mouth Mall, your West Coast Beast. Got down right there, Breaker Breaker. Hey, Motor Mouth. Yeah, that outlaw. The uh, Motor Mouth Mall outlaw, he was wanting to pass the fire and roll the buffalo your way with a big old wave. Well, tell outlaw I said hello right back there to him. I hope all is well and swell out there around his neck of the woods, Motor Mouth Mall Mobile. All right, outlaw, he's a waving right back. Hope all is well out there in your neck of the woods. I rolled that five and kept her alive, and I'm out of the way. Motormouth uh, 747 was trying to get into you. The log trucker stepped on him real bad here about five minutes ago. Uh oh, I didn't hear 747. Well, I hope he comes back up in there again. Roger, yeah, he was trying to get to you. I heard him a couple times. But <laughs> log truckers kind of got it all tied up on the get back. Oh, yeah. Man, does he ever have a big old hammer out there? He's got that, problem, uh, that skull cracker antenna working for him. Roger that. I'll be on the side. Maybe they'll try to get back in here. Motor mouth grandpa on the side. Roger, he sounds good. How about that grandpa? How about that grandpa? Give me 178, Matt. Uh, waving at a southwest Washington. I heard somebody waving at grandpa, but I couldn't pull you in. There was too many stations coming in at one time.
Anyway, Grandpa heard you up there, break break. That was 178 Mad Dog, Southwest Washington. All right, 178 Mad Dog. 178 Mad Dog, Northwest Washington, Grandpa and the cow, if you got back. Hey, can I hear your grandpa? Hey, can I hear your grandpa? I'd lay it down harder if I could. The beans are coming, the beans are coming. I can't wait to get her in here. Thank you, sir. Give me 178. Send it flowers your way. All right, your white rock flowers right back to you. Can't wait till the beam gets up, huh? <laughs> All right, appreciate you getting back 178. Grandpa clear. Wow, 178 has some loud audio, but it was all right centered at about one kilohertz. <laughs> and man, oh man, is that piercing audio. It was. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I try. I try hard. I, I try to keep it clean, clean, clear audio. That's what we're aiming for. Uh, once we get that beam in the air, we shouldn't even be doing it harder. Roger, good deal. Well, I'll tell you what, I got a recording going at the ranch. Uh, about two and a half, three miles from here, I got a recording going, at least I think I do. And uh, if indeed I do, I'll go ahead and post it up online, and you'll see it up on Facebook later on. 178 Mad Dog, radio station, motor mouth mall, we're going to small bill right here. And we're trying. Stay two or two. Well, awesome. Thank you, your motor mouth mall. Thank you for sure. I, I would love to go ahead and see me water get it a little bit there. I haven't, I haven't experienced any of that yet. I'm still kind of new to all of this, just kind of getting this station all tuned in and dialed up. That's for sure. Give me a 178 Mad Dog off the key. All right, your Mad Dog. Well, yep, that gate will be, uh, that gate will be posted later tonight. Uh, I don't have any internet at the ranch, so when I'm done uh, recording the gate, i got to bring the, uh, bring the phone uh, I've got the gate hardwired into the phone, so it's a good quality recording. It's coming right off the, uh, the Cobra 29 receiver and going directly into the phone. And uh, so anyway, I'll, I'll get to the internet tonight and I'll post it up there, ain't no doubt about that. You check YouTube, uh, Motor Mouth Mall or MMM Video Gates, it's all one word, MMM Video Gates on YouTube, or uh, just look up uh, Motor Mouth Mall or John Bartell on uh, Facebook and you'll see it at the break. Awesome, 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 yeah, thank you there, Motor Mouth Mall, and thank you too, I heard Outlaw, thank you, yeah, no, I've uh, only been in this in about uh, five, six months or so, uh, got myself a few different low bass radios, a couple amplifiers, oh yeah, a little bit here and there, go ahead, break. First, uh, 300. Alright. I just thought I'd key up, let you know we hear you every time you see us, so you're definitely doing your thing up here. Sounds real good. Just picked it up. Roger, well, I'm glad to let you go let, left. Let, let, glad you hear me up there on your neck of the woods. Uh, you're smoking down here on the central coast of California. Oh, Motor Mouth Mall Mobile, right here, right now, Frank. Well, I'm really glad to hear that, no doubt, because I'm. Trying something a little different up here. I'm running these uh, little 50 volt box that uh, I just got together. So uh, thanks for the flowers. Um, I'll try and keep it alive. Right, yeah, the 50 volt box you just got put together there. Uh, is that 50 volt NPNs or is that 50 volt uh, uh, LD Master break? Oh, uh, that's awesome. Sounded fucking great. Is that 50 volt LD, LD MOS or is that NPNs or break? It's just amazing what two transistors can do. Thank you. Oh, they're, they're uh, just uh, NPNs, right? You're not running a pair of LD MOSs, are you? And a bunch of tunes and uh, whatnot got this thing all fired up, man. I, I can tell Mad Dog got in there with you. I'm, I'm assuming two NPNs at 50 volts, right? For about 450 watts? Yeah, and, yeah uh, five months and dropping them all like this. I guess you're in there with Mad Dog pretty hard. I didn't get all of that, but uh, it sure sounds good when, when the competition isn't there. But uh, I'm still not sure if that's a pair of NPN transistors at 50 volts. I think it is. pair of uh, 188. Radio. 188, Motor Oh, there are a pair of 188s. Okay, a pair of 188s at 50 volts. All right, very good. All right, that, that's very cool. Awesome. Uh, sounds great. Audio is beautiful. 10-4. 
and the old striker radio is doing its job. All right, Motor Mouth Mall. Well, I'm going to free it up up here and give some other guys a chance to get out and talk with you there. Motor Mouth Mall, numbers to you, no doubt. West Side Station, top of the nation. Roger, the West Side Station. And by the way, I, I, as you know, the Watergate is rolling right now, and I'm, uh, I'm heading up to the ranch. I'm about a mile away right now. And uh, when I get up there, I'll stop the gate and uh, uh, save it so I can post it up later on uh, on Facebook. And you can hear what the audio sounds like and how that station sounds coming down here on my place. So, uh, And it sounds just as good in my mobile, I know, as it does at the base because the receivers are the, the same bandwidth and same modifications. From 10 4, I'd like to hear that water gate. No doubt. Motor mouth. You got that motor mouth. You're off the key. 10 4, take care, 7 3, so have a good day. And appreciate the flowers there, eh? Hey, uh, and Log Trucker, while you say Motor Mouth Mall, you got that mobile smoking. That's the best we can do with what we got there. We're working a 2 by 8 so we're only dead keying about 140 watts, 145 watts, and letting this swing. And uh, just driving it with some wide band, high fidelity, Motor Mouth Mall style audio that break. Oh, it's definitely swinging. It's definitely swinging, ain't no doubt about it. Yeah, you'll, you'll like what you hear when you get home near the gate. <laughs> that mobile is loud and proud. All right, Motor Mouth Mall, I got to get the step and get out of the way here. I'll put it on you later. You know it is on this little station up here in the corner. Hey, Log Trucker, if it's half as loud as you are right now, I'll be happy, ain't no doubt about that. Log Trucker, Motor Mouth Mall Mobile. Gonna go jump out of the truck here and open up this gate. And I shall return. Holy cow, that's awesome. <laughs> I had no idea it even sound half like that. That puts a grin on my chin. That makes me happy as a clam at high tide. Happy as a clam wearing tie-dye. That's kind of weird. Something being in the evergreen. What did you say? Happy as a clam wearing tie-dye? Hmm. No, I said makes me happy as a clam at high tide. Uh, oh, happier than happy as a clam at high tide. I got you. Okay. Okay. I just wanted to clarify that. I kind of outgrew the tie-dye thing. <laughs> yeah, right, sure. I figured that's a break. Log Chucker is my hero. When I grow up, I want to be just like that, Log Chucker. <laughs> just like you? You're going to be a hunter today. Hey, Log Chucker, somebody wants to be just like you out there, Break. I hope not. I don't think there's room enough for two of us out there. Well, evidently, there, there is. Sometimes. Maybe i like to be, grow up and be like him. Yeah, who knows? There you go. Hey, I don't want to grow up. I'll always be a Toys R Us kid. Took the words right out of my mouth. Oh, except for I was going to sing it. That guy drives Lincoln Long. I'm operating my Lego radio station right here, right now. Uh oh. They're just like me. Sometimes I like to check in and see what condition my condition was in. I like my snap together radio. Motor mouth mall got down. Northwest Oregon, and I just got down. Did you say that was a snap together radio? Yeah, 10 4. It's a snap together station. They're very DIY snap together. That's right. They call them the fertilizer. Snap together, plug and play, get out on the radio and talk all day. Absolutely. Wow, that thing sounds good. So you're running, uh, you running air cooled on the uh, spreader, on the heat spreader on that thing, or are you running water cooled on there? Oh man, I, I got air cooled on there with 120 millimeter fans, 
on a heat sink that's about four times bigger than four inches. Roger on the heat sink that's four times bigger than uh, than it needs to be. That's uh, that's the way to run it. There ain't no such thing as too much cooling. That's for sure. And your power supply is uh, 50 volts at how many amps? Well, actually, it's 54.5 volts at 55 amps. A one. Roger, cool. Roger, very, very cool. Wow, nice. Is that going to be, um, uh, that's using the, like the mean well power supply type thing, so switching supplies, or you've got a linear supply on there? Uh, radio, we hear you out here in Portland, Oregon again. We've got empty pockets saying hello one more time. Three pounds. Yeah, tiny, tiny little thing. Uh, it does really good. It's uh, called a flat pack two. You look them up. Roger on the flat pack two. Yeah, it's amazing. Those switching power supplies are mind blowing. Absolutely mind blowing. Uh, yeah, yeah, they blow my mind every time I key up on this thing. It's it's just been. Uh, yeah, it's been flawless as far as they go outside. He's got your weed. Roger, the audio is beautiful. The headroom is good. The, uh, uh, you know, it just sounds like uh, it's working perfectly for you. Yeah, I'm really digging it. Hey, well, I tell you what, when I first put it together, I no, no. up in the first couple minutes that I was operating it. But, uh, yeah, I swapped out that transistor and tried it again and changed a few things. And, yeah, so far it's, uh, it's, it's tough. You know, I got to say, it's, it's tough. Uh, get over on the ground, man. Morning down here in pockets. And a smaller 90-millimeter fan on the secondary transformer, because that's the hot spot, the secondary transformer. Keep a little fan on that transformer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roger, and keeping that secondary transformer cool. That's the hot spot. Yeah, very cool, man. Love it. It's uh, it's working good for you. And, um, yeah, that's the hot ticket, man. I, I do believe that is the way of the future. Get back on the beam there. Well, as long as it holds together and doesn't blow itself up, it's going to be the way of my future. I'm here to say uh, I want to build another one. I want to build another one and put it in a 16-pill cabinet with the power supply internal in the cabinet. Make a nice portable unit there. Oh, I sure will. That'll be awesome. Have you tried it on any other bands other than 11 meters? Is it a broadband design or is it pretty narrow banded? I'm sorry, motor mouth mall. Somebody in there with a uh, playback device got in there on the top of you there. Well, Roger, is it uh, pretty narrow banded, or have you tried it on anything other than 11 meters? I haven't experimented with that yet, so yeah, I really couldn't tell you. Roger. Okay, sounds good. It should have some degree of broadbandedness to it, but I was just curious how how much and and uh, what. So I'd be listening. I'd be looking forward to hearing results on the. Uh, on that there later on? Oh yeah, no doubt. Well, I'm still in the uh, testing and tuning stages, you know. Um, so yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get some more experimentation in there and see what she does there. Roger. Are you using the pallets, the, the Russian pallets, the available ones that you're starting, starting out with on, online there? Or are you doing this from the ground up on your own? I started off with a RF man pallet. An RF man two transistor pallet there, copy. Roger, and then you built all the other stuff up around it. Very cool. Well, I think that's uh, that's good bang for the buck, and it's great uh, testimonial to his stuff working well and sounding good. Well, I tell you what, I don't have much bleed over, man. It, it's really tight, um, really tight. I get great reviews from uh, people that got some ham radio rigs that you know have the spectrum analyzers on them. And yeah, it's uh, it's definitely not a splatter box. No, I can concur with that. Um, I just checked right now, and I don't have a, a spectrum analyzer or display of any kind, no SDR or anything in the mobile here. But uh, I, I, you know, I can certainly tune on either side of you, and I can tell you that there's absolutely nothing on either side of you 
right now. I mean, literally nothing. You're right here on 17, and that's it. 10-4, that's what she's all about. Yep, I would say you've got a winning combination there. Uh, doing a portable with everything all self-contained in one box is going to be absolutely awesome. And, uh, yeah, got to love it, man. That's working great. 10-4, thanks for the flowers, no doubt. All right, I'm going to free up the band here and let some other people talk. Westside Station, waving a hand to that Motormouth Mall. Take care, numbers to you. We'll catch you later. All right, sounds good. Take care of seven threes. I'm just uh, I'm over here about an eighth of a mile away from the station right now, so I've been parked here so I don't get too close. Uh, I don't want to saturate my receiver, so I'm going to go ahead and mobile over to the station and shut the gate off, and then I'll, uh, I'll post it when I get home later tonight. And uh, you'll see it over there. It'll be both on uh, MMM Video Gates as well as on Facebook. 10-4, <laughs> all right. Take care. All right, seven threes. Oh, and to that other guy out there, hey, man, I, I didn't mind you playing it back. It gave me an idea how my station sounded. It sounded like it was making a trip to your receive, and, and I did appreciate that. Seven two two, Yakima, Washington, say hello. My sight is clear as a bell here. Motormouth Mall, I'm going to pass a nickel for Outlaw Radio. He's waving a hand your way. He says he can't hear you, but uh, there you go. Yeah, I think he uh, spun the dial there. Yeah, he moved on out. He's too close to his big antenna there, west side. He'll be back on the air on a bigger radio delivery. 10-4, and I caught that too close to his big antenna. I understand. Uh, that's Grandpa Jones, his neighbor out there, Brick. All right, Grandpa Jones. You're sounding good up here in my radio today, too. Well, you and Motormouth Mall had my ears over here, and your audio is way up there. It's almost louder than his, and he's right next door to me there, Brick. And he's, well, he's in a mobile, too, so I that might have been the difference. A, uh, but you got that a, thing smoking, and it's it sounding beautiful. Radio that's unmodified. Well, I turned the dead key down a little bit in it, but it's a Stryker 955 radio and one of those old Echo Max 2000 base station microphones there. Yeah, big tech combination. Seems to do a good job for me. Yeah, real good combination. Monitor radio on the wrong frequency. Anyway, I'm on the 5 8 wave ground plane now at 8 watts and uh, we're on the base. So, uh, anyway, a uh, west side station, motor mouse ball working this little 5 8 wave ground plane and 8 whopping watts. I got down. 10 4. Well, we hear you really good on that ground plane antenna, motor mouse ball, no doubt about it. Right, sure. And uh, I'll do one playback here. Uh, and you'll hear the playback of the playback on the gate. <laughs> anyway, uh, here, check this out real fast here. Let's see. On the wrong frequency. Anyway, I'm on the 5 8 wave ground plane now at 8 watts. And, uh, one. 10 4. Well, we hear you really good on that ground plane antenna, motor mouth mall, no doubt about it. And there you go. There was a playback. Uh, of your audio, and you'll hear that on the recording as well, the break room. <laughs> all right, all right, on. Are you still hanging it? And I'm stopping it right now. <laughs> 